some guy. Um, but um, if you are subscribed to any training video, I would suggest watching um, a lot of heads up videos. Um, because that's where um, that's where you learn a lot about um, stealing and defending and all that stuff, and it will improve your game a lot. But um, yep, 50% um, should be good enough for the button range. Um, you certainly can get off, um, take off, you know, the weak, weaker hand, um, and certainly still do fine. Um, and then in the small blind, you know, once it's um, once everyone's full, and then small blind versus big blind, you can open up to. Um, some guy like, you know, some guy their range in the button in the small blind. There's not that much difference stealing. However, you want to add actually add a lot um, because guy under defend in the big blind, especially when you know you're playing against tag um, or tighter players that multi uh, tabling. You know, um, from ten to like twenty tables, you can just open a two card and it will just fall way too many times. But um. People do adjust, so it's not like it's not like a year or two ago where like um, uh, people don't adjust yet. You know, you you see people with like um, falling the big blind like seventy to eighty percent, but um, you don't see those guys anymore because they they are pr um, as the game as people get better, um, they either. Um, as the game get tougher, they, they either adjust or they uh, end up um, losing too much, and they end up quitting, um, which is what I see um, some of the guys that I used to play a lot against, and they don't play anymore because it just come to a certain point where um, they're not improving at all, and people are just um, killing them. When um, you might not think that um, falling too much in the small blind big blind is a problem but um, it actually add up a lot a lot of your profit a lot I would say um, majority of my profit is actually not from the um, under the gun positions and middle positions but it's come from late late positions like cut off to um, understanding um, how to defend your blind um, so you can certainly you know 62% I think is good but um some guy or 100%, some guy, you can just play with this um, and see you, you know, start off slow and then start adding numbers. But um, the thinking in that is that um, when you're in a small blind and you're risking, um, you're risking two, two and one. Um, so you have to be, you know, you have to succeed. Uh, actually, you're not risking two, two and one, you're risking one. Uh, yeah, you're risking one to win one, I think. Uh, so you raise up, and then uh, so you're risking two to you're risking two to win three, right? That makes sense. Yeah, because you raise up. Yep. Um, I'm not. I'm not the. I'm not really good with the math. Um, as you guys can tell by now. Um, so you're risking. But um, as long as you're, you know, as long as they're falling um, more than 50% to your um, opening range um, in the small blind and they defending the big blind, you're pretty much showing profit every single time because um, you know you're see betting flop, um, and a lot of the time they're just gonna fall right away, um, and you know you take down that. Um, few small bet but it's uh, it's worth it um, it's definitely worth it um, so some guy opening all the ranges um, and I think this is pretty much it um, about opening range um, and then in the small blind in the button I mean in the small blind and in the uh, big blind um, hands that you want you want to defend with which I see a lot of people have problem with is or um, they don't know what hand to um, defend with, um, and you so you don't want to fold more than fifty percent, basically, right? 
as we talk because if you fold more than that, people are going to take advantage of you. So we look at 50% um, in range first. And then if it, it depends on who's stealing. Um, if the guy is tighter, you certainly can get rid of your bottom of your range. But since most are pretty loose, you can depend on a king. A7. Eight seven off, um, green six will be the cut. Um, yeah, I think this is pretty good. Uh, Fifty six percent certainly would be fine for a beginner. Um, you can get rid of you know some of the weak uh, king if you like because you don't know what to do once the flop um, um, break. Um, one thing I wanted to say is that um, I'll probably it's it's a pretty um, um, I can't go over um, too many situations in this video because it's, it's just a lot to talk about. Um, my advice would be just to watch, subscribe to videos and watch. Or if you like, um, send me a text. Um, we can talk about it. But it's, it's, it's something that I'm still working on. And certainly anyone, um, um, a lot of people are still, you know, even up to 5, 10, you know, 10, 20, and that stuff. A lot of people still struggle with um, in the still in still situations. Um, they're still working that part of the game. So, but um, yeah, you can um, in the uh, big blind, you can certainly this hand certainly um, you can start off with this defending with this. And my general advice is that to fast play your hand. Um, don't try to be too tricky. And sometimes you should check raise bluff. Um, boards that's good to check raise. Um, bluff in general is middle middle ca, middle board like um, you know jack five um, jack five eight because you know they're in the button majority of the range is gonna be a lot of ace weak ace high a lot of king. Uh, king, a lot of um, suited connector, um, but um, their bottom of the range they certainly can't continue beyond that, um, beyond the turn without hitting something. And some guy likes to take it too far by um, when you check raise, they call down with like ace high. Certainly, you can you don't have to worry about that because majority of your portion that you check raising is going to be a lot of. Uh, middle pair, even bottom pair, and if they call down with ace high, they're going to end up um, paying you off. Um, that's why I say you always have to um, value by pretty light. Um, but um, against trickier player, um, they they can rebluff you on the turn on scary board because they know some of the, um, some of the time your hand is going to be just draw, and then once the river break off, you're just going to end up uh, falling, so they like to re-raise bluff. Um, and uh, so I think this is pretty much it. Um, I, uh, before that, um, I forgot to talk about the small blind. So small blind is a little bit different um, hands because you don't you don't want to be um, co calling when the button or the cutoff open. Um, certainly, you want to be um, doing betting or folding majority of the time um, when they open. Because there's a person behind you, and it's better to do bet than just go call. You know, invite the third player in. Um, the only time that um, you want to invite third person in is you think they're really loose, and three betting won't um, get them to fall anyway. So you want to just co call with um, suited connector and that stuff. But otherwise, you know, pocket pair, and the the better your um, stronger range, you just want to three bet. Um, not to worry. Um, even if the button, I mean the big blind is loose and aggressive, because you want to just um, push your equity quick. Um, so certainly, um, uh, when the button open, we we'll just talk about the button open for just for this video. I'm not gonna go beyond um, defending in the big blind against like you know cut off and hijack open and uh, a lot of stuff because that's just that's for another. Um, you can either subscribe to um, the training video. I think they explain way better than me. But um, so this is free, so 
<laughs> the quality is not going to be as good. Um, it's on the fly and really haven't really put 100% thought into everything. Um, but, um, so, back to um, small blind defending. When the button open, um, you want to 3-bet. Um, some guy over 3-bet um, with um, any suited ace and then some guy even um, do bet with like all the ace but I think that's a that's a leak uh, because for one um, you're out of positions and you're in small blind and you don't you're not sure what the the big big blind's gonna do yet and you don't want to be opening up with the weak ace um, it's gonna put you in really tough spot on the flop in turn because um, let's say you break and then you see bet the see bet the flop 100% of the time um, then the uh, button call, and you're not, sh you know, the, the the board gets if the board's not, you know, favorable for you. If you don't hit the ace, you're gonna end up having a tough, uh, tough spot on the turn. So you wanna just get rid of the the weaker ace, um, you know, from ace um, two to ace four off. Um, ace ten is you can certainly that um, pocket pairs is another tricky one too. Um, before, when the the button is a very um, very tight rag, where you know you they pretty much fit and fold, and you just raise pre um, three bet, and they just fold when once they miss. But now players learn, and they like to peel, um, like to wait to the turn to pop, or they like to wait to the turn to um, re to uh, bluff with their draws, or just pure bluff and gonna put you in a tough spot so I think with uh, when you're new certainly you just wanna start um, three betting in the small blind with pocket five and up uh, pocket four is fine I think um, you can get rid of the weaker I mean the difference is not that much but overall you just wanna get rid of your um, some of your weakest hand um, and then your um, and then you know it's Overall, your range is going to be a little bit um, stronger, um, certainly. Um, queen Jack is uh, it's all right. Um, you can do more suited. Um, uh, because um, in general, um, uh, you can rep high board. You can rep king and ace board, and then you know if it hits the middle. Um, board, you know, people are not gonna think you have the eight or the seven in the range, so you can certainly add the suited. And also, you know, it's a plus that it's uh, suited. So some of the time you will hit the flush draw and stuff like that. Um, but um, I think I will even get rid of this. Um, certainly, I think this is good. Uh, I think this is good. Around 24% in the small blind. Um, through betting range when the button open um, and I think I'm gonna end this video here um, I apologize ahead um, for not um, fully planning this um, I didn't really put 100% so I can't really think um, on the math side I can't really tell you guys you know why um, defending those or um, stealing those um, or uh, profitable but um, there's a lot of um, articles and videos on that subject. Um, if you want to check it out, um, certainly post hands and then talk about it. Um, you guys want to send me, have any questions or anything like that, certainly just um, hit me up on AIM. I'm, majority of the time I'm on. Um, if I don't reply to you, that means I'm away. It's not that I don't like you guys or anything like that. Um, and I think I'm going to end it here. Um, Hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'll talk to you guys some other time. Alright, bye.